There are some things which we started right at the beginning, which absolutely have to continue for a prolonged period of time, washing hands, isolation, household isolation. And then we've added to that things like contact tracing, most recently face coverings. And these are issues of uh, and, and issues around distancing, uh, which have been varied. But the reality is distancing remains an important part of this mix and how it's interpreted in different environments uh, has, has evolved, but it has not gone away. So all of those need to continue for a long period of time. Um, uh, clearly, as we uh, remove so the things which have been removed are largely in the group of things which was around a different aim, which is not around isolating individuals, but was around trying to break contacts between individual households. Uh, and several of those have now been lifted, not all of them. Uh, and uh, we've tried to do that in a phased way. And the phasing was continuing as the Prime Minister uh, laid out this morning uh, with some things right at the end, which we know from other in other environments, nightclubs as an example he gave, uh, are associated with significant outbreaks. But um, uh, we have to be completely clear that getting the exact balance right so that we neither stay overly locked down with huge damage to uh, families in their long-term health through that or open up too fast and some countries have tried this and uh, they have appeared to maintain their level of uh, transmission at a very low level uh, continuing to go down in some cases others doing actually surprise quite similar things sometimes have tried this and then uh, there has been an upsurge uh, in the virus subsequent to that. So we are obviously trying to go cautiously. And the question is, have all the things that we've got, which are countermeasures, provided people are really systematic about them, provided they continue to do all those things, provided we continue that, will we be able to continue to open up the uh, society, open up the economy, but without leading to the R, the force of transmission going above one, and therefore going back to where we were? And I think going back to a previous um, uh, question and the comment about the Academy of Medical Sciences report. I think we think that there are probably, or I think there are probably, and this would be, I think, is a very common view among uh, doctors and scientists who looked at this, uh, a group of things you could do probably for three seasons of the year, but it may be that in winter this is more difficult because winter so benefits respiratory viruses. That's why we get the flus and the colds and coughs uh, in winter. So we do have to accept we may be able to do things for a period. And it's possible that in winter uh, we may have to do some other things. And I think we just have to be honest about that. And the Prime Minister, I think, made that very clear this morning.